Welcome to More Motorsports YouTube channel. If you're new here, definitely click that subscribe button. So in this video, I'm going to be painting the K20 engine that I am going to be swapping into my Mazda. So I wanted to show you how to do it. Um, I don't know if I've ever went into detail in any of my previous videos. I have like over 300 videos, I believe. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly what I use and how I do it. So here we go. Okay, so one of the first things we're going to do, obviously, is pressure wash the engine. I like to spray it down with some oven cleaner, just from Dollar Tree, it works pretty good. Um, if you don't have any of that, I use Zep and Purple Power Mixture. I mix them together in a spray bottle and use that to spray it down. Pressure wash everything as good as I can. Um, and I did hit the alternator, but it is perfectly fine. I've had the alternator tested, everything's good. Um, I've never had an issue doing that. You may have an issue if it's in the car while the car's running or something like that, but this engine's not going to be running anytime in the near future, so it should be fine. Um, but yeah, then I just basically let it dry and get it all taped up. I start with the pulleys and stuff like that. I'm not too worried about the water pump pulley because I'm going to be replacing the water pump. But I tape up all the connectors, um, a lot of the oil pan, the valve cover. You can just take the valve cover off, but I just figured I'm, I've already bought the tape. Might as well use it. So tape up the intake port and the exhaust ports and basically anything I don't want uh, painted on. So now that we've got it to that step, I'm going to be using one of these uh, green scuff pads. Basically just going to be scuffing everything up, getting all that leftover junk from the pressure wash. And we'll wipe it down with some brake clean and a clean rag. And after we get it all scuffed up everywhere, and wipe it down with the brake clean, then we can start with the paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and scuff it up and then we'll get the paint. I'm not too worried about this oil filter over here because it is a piece of crap fram. Uh, so I'll be changing that out. This is just what it had on it when I got it from the junkyard. Okay, as for the paint, a lot of people like to use a primer. I've never had an issue just spraying it directly on, but if you want to use a high heat primer, you can go ahead and do that. I already have some of this Duplicolor uh, silver engine paint, so I'm just gonna basically put a light coat on both sides. We'll let it dry and hit it with another. So here we go.
All right, there it is. Looks pretty decent. We're gonna let it dry. Just wanna show you all the way around. Now, right here on the alternator, I've never had an issue with painting it like that. I just don't go too heavy uh, in this area because you, know, you don't wanna get it all coated in there. But if you do not feel comfortable, just tape off the alternator uh, slots. But I've never had an issue, just do it at your own risk. But uh, yeah, looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take all the tape and everything off and we'll see how it looks. Okay, so here is what it looked like before. Just a little walk around. And this is what it looks like now. So much better, at least I think so. It's nice and cleaned up. I think it'll look really good once we get the header on and the intake manifold on, the wiring harness, and get this thing thrown in. The little Mazda truck is gonna be super fun. I can't wait because eventually we're gonna throw boost onto it and it's just going to be a blast. Um, it'll be the first Mazda B2300 that's K-swapped, at least to my knowledge. If you know of any, definitely link me in the description. But uh, yeah, it's going to be super fun. I just want to get you guys another paint video out um, and let you see that I'm making some progress for sure. Now, I still have to clean the RX-8 six-speed manual transmission, but I didn't have enough paint to do that and the engine but definitely looking good if you like these videos definitely check my playlist i have a bunch of them made uh, where i do similar things so i have a lot of videos on this channel and over on texas hana channel so please go over to texas hana channel uh, here on youtube and subscribe there will be a link in the description just click that and it'll take you over there um, and see what we've got going on over there so i'm gonna go ahead and get off here just wanted to get you a little video out so i'll see you guys in the next video and as i like to say God bless, stay safe, stay awesome.